Today I'm going to be talking about the Fascia Studio 15 by 15 heat press. I've been using it for about a year and three months. Uh, I'm going to give you my opinions on it and how it's still working for me, how it helps my business out. Um, I'm going to be cutting in and out of different videos, uh, pasting them together. Usually I don't do that. I usually talk straight through. But because it takes a process for it to heat up and everything like that, so we're going to be cutting in and out. So that way I show you how this machine works and how everything is well made. Um, it's up to your decision if you want to buy it or not. But I will put this heat press in my description so you can check it out on Amazon. Uh, it does help out the my website a little bit and helps out the YouTube channel a little bit. Just a small kickback that it gives back to us. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not getting paid to do any kind of review on it, but that way you can see how it is and, uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe and let me know your opinions of what you think about it. If you have it, if you don't have it, uh, so I see you when I turn on the heat press. Here we are at the heat press. Uh, very simple. Uh, it's 15 by 15 clam space. I mean, it's it does whatever you need for a t-shirt. I'm sorry about the angle. I'm just moving it back and forth. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, it is a facial studio. And I tell you what, I've been using it a year and a half. And I love it. Uh, I mean, it's not a professional press, but it does do its job. So here we go. We're going to turn it on. Side button. And uh, very easy to set. I'm actually going to be setting the temperature today for uh, 320. So once you set up at 320, then I just hit temp. Sorry, it's just counting down because the thing is closed. Um, again, temp. It's at 320. Hit temp again. It will hold it. Uh, we're going to do this for 30 seconds, so I will hit the time button, and i go up the time for 30 seconds. I went down, sorry. So 30 seconds, I'll hit the time button again, and that's pretty much the way it is, and it'll heat up. It takes a little bit of time. It's not too, too long. But usually I'll set it and I go and I'll do other things. And by the time I get back, uh, it's pretty much heated up. Like I said, it's it, it's worked well for me. Um, tell you it's about a year and three months and it's still going strong. I have no complaints about it. I mean, the only complaints I have that you can hear some noises here and there. But I mean, it all depends on the pressure you have and uh, so on. So, I'll come back when the whole press is heated up, and we'll go from there. Uh, today, I'm going to be pressing uh, my girl's Girl Scout uh, patches on her thing. It's only one, so I just figured I'd just give a quick uh, a demo on how I do that. And I will see you once it warms up. So, now we have 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. Um, I have a protective cover on it to protect my garment. Uh, you can also find this in my description links uh, down below. Um, I'm also going to be using a uh, heat press pillow uh, for this garment because it has other patches on it. And I don't want them, you know, uh, messing up or not gluing on there correctly. Uh, first of all, you're going to hear this machine clicking back and forth and the reason why it's clicking because it's trying to stay at the temperature desired so also you want to have 
some kind of heat temperature uh, gauge to, to check or a temp gun, I should call it. Um, I have this also in my description below. Um, just click on the Amazon link and it'll, it'll go right to it. It works great. It's on point. I have checked it with different thermometers and it works. This thing works wonderful. So it is it is at 320. This this thing is pretty pretty good at it. Um, I know I can always check it. So now I am going to show you. I have a small heat press. I mean, I got a bigger pillow at the bottom, but this is just fine for what I'm going to do because I'm only going to be doing one patch and it'll be quick. So now here is the garment that I'm going to be uh, patching. And of course, there's other, there's other ones on there. So I'm only going to be pressing one corner here. Uh, on the side here, so don't want to get most of them on there. But for those of you who have girls in the Girl Scouts, uh, definitely this is a, a plus. So uh, <laughs> it's better than sewing them, I tell you that much. Um, so we'll get it right there. I usually try to align it with the seam exactly where I'm going to put it at. So. And then I'll give it a pre-press just to get any moisture out of it real quick. Just a couple seconds, maybe one, two, three, four, five seconds. Um, don't see no steam on it, so that's great. Uh, let me get the patch. So this is the patch we're going to be putting on. Uh, usually I try to line it up as best as possible, not touching any creases. And I'll move this over just a hair. And here we go. So that looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty good to me. So now we're gonna try, and like I said, you're gonna hear it clicking, but that's because it's trying to get the temperature, stay at the temperature that, that's required. So here we go. We're going to press it for 30 seconds. And again, and for you to do this, I will put the pre uh, heat press pillow in there. I would adjust it just enough that you have firm pressure uh, because the patch does have glue behind it. And if you're not giving it firm pressure, it's not going to stick. So we're just waiting. We've got 11 seconds, 10 seconds now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you'll hear a beep. Now it's done. And voila, the patch is on there, it's adhered, and the steam that you're seeing is actually from the, from the heat press pillow, because I have it close to the window, but this is, uh, this house is controlled, so, um, as you can tell, patch is on, it's not coming off. I can turn it any way you want to. It is melted on there. Now, if you want to, you can give it a second press, but I think it's good, it's not coming off. All the edges are nice and flat. So there you go. That's the way the heat press the patch on there, and it works great. For all you uh, Girl Scout moms and stuff out there that need to need something quick, heat press is way to go. So I'll be back in a little bit to discuss more about this uh, this heat press, so that way you guys can see for yourself, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the 15 by 15. Facial Studio heat press on Amazon. Like I said, I have the link in the description below. I also have the pillows, the heat press uh, sheets. Uh, anything that you need to, to use that machine is there. The, the temp gun is there. Uh, so go down below, check the description, uh, click on the Amazon links. Uh, also again, like and subscribe like always. Uh, so here's my opinion. I actually love it. Uh, 
the heat press has been working flawlessly for me. Um, everybody complains about it, that some of them come crappy, some of them break. Um, I actually follow the directions of the manufacturer. So when I turn it on, I have everything ready to press. I press everything up. Once I finish pressing, I leave it, I turn it off, I leave it alone. I unplug it every night so there's no power going through it. Um, these are manufacturer requests. I mean, you can email them. Uh, they have their own website and they actually tell you how to maintenance it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find some YouTube videos on here that also show you how to maintenance uh, the machine and care for the machine. Uh, but those are the steps that I take. I turn it off. I kill all power to it. I unplug it from the wall. I don't leave it on there overnight. So the thing never has power going through it until I'm ready to use it, until I'm ready to press with it. And it works flawless with me. I haven't had a problem with it. I'm actually thinking about getting another one, uh, actually a 16 by 20, which I also put in the link in the description. Um, maybe it might work for you a 16 by 20. I, I just need it because it's bigger and there's other products that I have that are just a little bit bigger than a t-shirt. But if you're only using it for t-shirts, a 15 by 15 press for a t-shirt or a hoodie or anything you're doing with that 15 by 15 is plenty of, uh, of room. Um, if you're doing, you can't be, there's no way that you're doing a, a you know, any kind of uh, HTV or anything that you're, even a sublimation, there's nothing that I don't think that you're gonna be doing unless you're doing a full shirt, but if you're just doing small graphics, small, small names, uh, small little things on, on shirts, it'll give you that 15 by 15 area in the front. Uh, anything bigger than that, you're going into the armpits. And like I said, unless you're going into a full uh, sublimation shirt, which then again, even a 16 by 20 would still be too small. I would try to get something bigger that'll cover the whole thing instead of doing it by sections. Uh, it'll be more time consuming for you. But if you're only doing t-shirts, uh, front, back prints, uh, sleeve prints, all that stuff, this will help you. A 15 by 15 is decent enough for you to start off with. I started off with it and I've been doing great with it. It has been the only one I've had since I got it a year and a half ago. So I will be upgrading to a, a bigger one, but I'm still gonna be using this one, just having the other one and having both of them to work with. That way one goes out, you know, I have an extra one. Um, I think it's great guys. I give this thing a thumbs up. It's been working flawless. Like I said, it, it, compared to the prices that you're gonna pay for a bigger a bigger brand, Geonite, uh, Hotronics, um, even uh, Heat Press Nations uh, presses, I think that this works wonderful. It, it might not have all the bells and whistles that the other ones have, but for me, it's been functional, it's been working straight for what I wanted for, and it's been helping me out. So guys, that's my review of it. I give it a thumbs up. I think you guys should go and get it. Like I said, it's all in the link in the descriptions. Uh, Take a look at it, try it out for yourself. I know they give you warranty with it. Just hold on to the box because you have to send it back if you do have a warranty issue. But go out there. As long as you're you're buying it and you're using it and you're making money with it, it's money back. I, I, I mean, it's made its money back and I'm still using it to make money. So guys, thumbs up, go get it. My review is very good on it. I haven't had a problem with it. Uh, next, I will be talking about the hat press that I had there. I'm not sure what's the name of it, but I bought it. I think it was $150 on uh, Amazon as well, or $160 for the hat press. That's coming up next. Guys, love you guys all. Please like and subscribe again. Peace.